And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Elise Azir. We're heading back to ranked. Had a really fun time over in normal for meme tier over the last a uh, couple days, but now it's back to rank decks for the rest of the week. We're going to play a real aggressive one here with Elise Azir, where we're going to try to go wide, get as much damage as we can early. We got um, a bunch of cheap threats uh, that can help us go wide, including something like Blighted Caretaker. Azir, whenever we attack, we get the Sand Soldier. Elise, whenever it attacks, we get the Spiderling. So, you know, like we're able to make multiple bodies. And so that's going to help us out because we're going to try to get as much chip damage in as we can. And then to finish games out in the late game, we're going to have some drain. We're going to have Ruinous Path. We're going to have Doom Beast. They're going to be able to drain Stalking Shadows. If that hits Doom Beast, we can get two of those in there. But then we also have our top end of three Neverglade Collectors draining since we're going wide with a bunch of uh, small units every time they die. Like every time a Sand Soldier dies, drain one. And then also Phantom Prankster dealing damage to the enemy Nexus. So that's going to be our goal. Be aggressive, get ahead, and then finish the game out with Ruinous Path, Doom Beast, Prankster, and Neverglade Collector. Should be pretty sweet. We got some good card draw in here. Besides Ruinous Path draws cards, Glimpse Beyond, uh, Spirit Leech, Stalking Shadows. So lots of card advantage also. Um, should work out really well. I'm, I'm excited about this one. Should be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Heading on back over to ranked. Let's see how we do. Ooh. Those are some master champions over there. So we got Shivana and Aurelian Soul. Okay. We're mul mulliganing Doom Beast. Um, I'm going to keep both of these, but we kind of need to slay a... Our, like slay a unit to get our bark beast to be larger hmm this is kind of an awkward hand yeah it's a little bit of an awkward hand Wow. Yeah, we just drew all of our... We drew five late-game cards out of our seven. You know, like, I kept I kept these two in my opener, and every single card we drew was one of our late-game cards. That's not great. So I, I think this is about as awkward as it gets for our deck. Come hither, you beast! Not a bad draw. The prophecies ring true. The Emperor commands the land obeys. <laughs> I wish I would have just mulliganed everything and not even kept these one drops. Good hand, opponent. Good hand. This game looks to be pretty over. You don't play against a whole lot of dragons, but dragons are good at blocking, and for how awkward our opening hand started, um, you know, we just ended up running into a deck that is very good against our deck. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. We cannot... Yeah, we can't drain enough to get there from them being at that high of a life total. Those things are just going to kill all my board. And in five minutes, that game is over. We'll just save that five minutes. Because there is not a chance. It would be a it's, a... it's a real painful five minutes, right? Of just, like, the dragons challenging, killing everything. And it, it's just like... A, you know, it's a real painful five minutes that I can... Just save myself from and move on. All right, Spirit Leech, Ruinous Path. Y'all go away. 
because you know we want to as we saw like that that other game we we don't want to have too much of our top end right away so i know obviously we don't get to attack with the sand soldier that's that's a bummer but with this elise draw i want to be able to attack with elise the next turn so played our one drop get that in there attacking also Yeah, I'll send it in. Great start for them, the Vile Feast Avalanche combo. Together we are part of something more. Together you are children. We're at seven. Remember this day. We're at eight. Good thing I didn't play the caretaker. So good chance of they're playing Trundle this turn, right? I'll just attack. And yes, I could go with the Azir's Arise. But I, I think just attacking is just fine. This is, allows me to have like multiple, uh, you know, rises with like these things. Oh. Having two of those. So it is. All right, so that's gonna do two to everything. So I can do one, two, three, four, five. That's, what, 10 damage? So I can use these two cards to do 10 damage to them. So that doesn't sound bad. Oh, I can't use both of them, because I, I can't cast this other Arise, because that, right, that uh, muddles that up. Um... Yeah, never mind, because that just gets obliterated. Usually it starts the game right there. There we go. Ezreal Swain. So yeah, usually the Lissandra Trundle deck's really good against Agra, so that was a good sign for us. We had a, you know, a solid hand. Um, definitely get rid of this. This is going to be another, you know, removal-heavy deck. I think I'm going to get rid of these two. I think I'm going to keep the Stalking Shadows for this matchup for having the multiple bodies. All right, we'll go turn one Bark Beast. Turn to Elise. Be able to save this Doomkeeper with the Sand Soldier for later. But yeah, we did have turn two Elise, turn three Azir last time, so we had both of our champions. That makes life better. You won't suffer long. All 
Okay. It feels like Static Shock. I think that's what they're kind of holding on to. Oh, they're going to Mystic Shots. All right, so they want a Mystic Shot. Could be going for a lease. But if they Mystic Shot a Bark Beast, then our other Bark Beast grows. That is true. If they do Mystic Shot Bark Beast, we can level up Elise. That would be good. Yeah, please target Bark Beast. That's too bad. Please don't kill my Elise now. Yay. Alright, here we go. Let's attack. You're between me and glory. Yeah, that's... We got one of those right behind us, laying back there in the bed. A, a bark beast. So young. So young. I'm just going to hold on to this Stalking Shadow still. Try to get this Neverglade Collector in play. They definitely have to do something. They can't pass to me, because if they pass me, I just open attack. and that's I mean, you'd assume that's bad for them. So I can take it, and it doesn't level up Swain yet. But if I block, then I have room for Caretaker. And so that's why I want to block, so I have room for Caretaker. And <laughs> the cutest Bark Beast in the back. Everyone's a garden. I mean, yeah, they would have to have, like, Sentry plus flock for Neverglade. Oh no! Alright, yeah, our deck looks really strong. That first game that we had was, you know, as bad as possible. But once we have our champions and curve out, our deck looks really strong. Ooh, okay, how do we do in an aggro mirror? Against... Discard burn. We'll replace Stalking Shadows. Ain't got no time for that. Okay. Solid. This could be... Yeah, this could be a matchup where Neverglade could carry us. The desert. Bye -bye. First keeper. I know what lurks in the shadows. That's in our deck. So next turn I can play Curse Keeper, the following turn Caretaker. Doesn't Caretaker doesn't really kill um, you know Draven and stuff. Really hope no Draven. Just do something else, please. Alright, nostalgia later. Yep, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, remember, is the late stream. It's going to start, like, basically around this time tomorrow, about 24 hours from now. Wednesday, we always have the Wednesday night stream. That's the one we're going to sleep in. Keep your distance. It will all be over soon. What's your hurry? Vision. 
But that's a get excited not going after me. That's always good. And so I could play Dune Keeper, but I kind of feel like I want to just play one of these Ruinous Paths right now this turn. Train to draw a card. Oh, I don't like that. And I'll... I'll wait, because, you know, never play Collector. Yeah, maybe I should have attacked with that 4-3. Yeah, I probably should have. Because obviously this makes blocking with the 4-3 a lot trickier. If they have another vision, this block's pretty bad for me. It's probably not worth saving two life whenever this card can do so much. It's not worth saving that two life. Wow, they had another vision? It's a pretty sweet life. Okay, so two, five, six. I'm not playing the. So I can either play Stalking Shadows or Ruinous Path, and I guess again it's better to play Ruinous Path because I'm going to be I'm going to be slaying something this turn. All right, Turg. Thanks for the the deck code there. Is that so? Your donation deck you just redeemed there, Turg. Is it uh, rank or meme tier? Gross. I just wanted to make sure to get that in before that they were going to kill. Man, we're getting so much drain. So they go block, block. Then we get to drain another two. Nah. Meme tier? Cool. All right, we'll have that for next week. You attack for crowd favorite. So why don't we play Desert's Wrath four mana, summon two soldiers, because it's good with Neverglade. But yeah, it's basically because it costs four mana, right? And, and I just don't really want a four mana card, honestly. It's too expensive. Yeah, that did look a little weird playing the O2, didn't it? So I don't get to Stalking Shadows because, you know, probably going to want to play both of these. This turn. Stalking Shadows next turn. Yeah, hopefully the Stalking Shadows doesn't miss. Again. We're going to eat. We only have one card we don't know about. If either of those block a Draven, we only save one life, and it's just not worth it when we can kill things. Millions of drain is pretty cool. We have we have done a really good job drawing Doom Beast and Neverglade.
We should be able to do two damage somehow with this. And then drain, drain. This is gonna hurt for you. Yep. Did two damage somehow. I definitely wasn't gonna attack with the Neverglade, but even the Azir, I don't know, just don't really. Don't really need to. We don't need. I don't. I felt like I was, especially with like he, healing another an additional four here. I felt like I was pretty safe. And I just didn't need to attack with my awesome things because right, like, because if I I attack with Neverglade Collector there, they go Whirling Death. Now my you know now my Neverglade's dead, so now we don't train. Like we just don't need to. We good. All right, same kind of matchup. At least aggro, Noxus and aggro, I guess. What do we have? Ooh, Neverglade Collector. I don't need you, and I don't really want a second Neverglade. We'll keep Azir and Neverglade and hopefully get some cheap stuff. Oh, no. That is not cheap stuff. <laughs> okay. Not exactly cheap stuff. Do we have, like, a Warden Spray in here? We have Warden Spray, right? Yeah. We're gonna hopefully get Warden Spray with the Stalking Shadows. That or Dune Keeper. We need a one drop. <laughs> oh, Bark Beast is a one drop. I worked out. We got an expensive hand. So if I attack, a zero turns into a one three for just getting a little one one in play. Not worth. You think that's greedy keeping Neverglade? I mean Neverglade is just so important, but like it's Neverglade is definitely one of our best cards. But, you know, we just we need the early stuff too, which we didn't have. Admittedly. If they play something else, I get to Doom Beast. Cool. If they didn't, I was going to have to arise. Make the Empire proud. Do they have like a plus three, plus one card or something? Yeah, like the plus one, plus one. They gotta have like the plus one, plus one, right? That's what it definitely feels like. They have the plus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, you're not actually fear of something. I can't actually block you. I mean, it's still plus one, plus one, and then if it's a landmark, it's plus three, plus three, correct? Like, that's how it goes? Come, we have an empire to build. I guess it saves the same amount of damage, but this would kill this thing, but we'll see. Hopefully they don't, but... Okay, good, they don't. Save me, Neverglade. Save me. Save me. Ugh, ruin runner. So this, you know, like they block. If they block with ruin runner, then I have something can trade with ruin runner. Mm, I don't know. No, we would definitely not. This game is not over. We have not won this game. This, this should just, 
Mm. Like, this saves two life. But maybe it should be getting damage on this Azir. I don't know. They could be playing Whirling Death. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever played against... I, I mean, I haven't played against this kind of champion combination, so... I, I don't know what they... They could have anything. I feel pretty good about it now that we survived with both collectors. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this now. See what we see. You can see what I see. Things close. Oh, that's true. Yeah, decimate's scary. We got lots of scary stuff over there. Maybe this was a bad play by me. Because I could have... I could have gone, you know, like, Dune Keeper, Ruinous Path. And drained four. This only drained two. And then, you know, played something else. I guess I could have done that and played the four one. and So I could have drained six this turn. Alright. That'll do. This is us draining an additional eight, but we lose one from this. Is sweet. <laughs> we were at like they're at like twenty, and I was at like two. Just a little bit ago. Arise. That's too bad. That's too bad. I don't get to arise. My Azir died. My Azir died. I don't get to arise. Taking greater things await. The order is given. Keep your distance. Well, I can just pass. This is me definitely staying alive and going to five, so let's just pass and see what happens. Okay. Still alive. We're going to out drain the drain deck. Out drain him. Can't kill Neverglade, you can't win. Dude, Neverglade is nice. Easy 4 1. Alright, Sejuani Renekton. We're playing a bonus game here. Uh, I know we, we already played our 5, we usually play 5, but these games are fast, and that first game that we lost was pretty much nonsense. So we are trying a bonus game. See if we can go 5-0 besides like that nonsense first game. So I do have the attack token on turn 3. Am I going to want a caretaker on 3? I don't think so. I think I'm going to want a Azir on 3, right? So 
Do I just mulligan both of these and have Doomkeeper on one? This this is the card that kind of gives me pause. Maybe I do want a Carrot Taker on three, though. This is a really tough mulligan. It really is. You know what? Let's keep it. Because we don't know what the game's going to look like. I guess I can have either... Oh, wow. The game's going to look good. <laughs> yeah, we can have either of these turn three plays. Yeah, so a zero on three is nice, but then also like having if we drew like another one drop where we go like the Reaper and you know another one drop, and then we play play like Caretaker and we slay a couple, and now this is like a bigger fearsome. Yeah, we got some options. We had some options. To say about life, it's all about options. Fight or die. All right, we've already got them down to eight. And we had, you know, we got all of our, like, drain cards that, you know, we don't have any of them yet, but... That's a lot of things. Sorry, Azir. Just don't even get to play you. Don't even get to play you. All right. So basically, five zero. We had a a real nonsense game. Drawing the where we kept two one drops. They weren't even that good of one drops. I you know after playing some more games, I regret the two that I kept. But then we just drew the worst possible cards after that, and uh, my opponent had a really good hand of, um, you know, turn four the five mana dragon plus single combat on turn four because they ramped into it. So that game was nonsense. But besides that, five and oh, this deck looked really good. I really liked this. This was really aggressive, great late game, never glade collector, pretty insane in this deck with the, like all the drain. This card was awesome. I think as, as far as our list goes, I think there's one card that doesn't need to be in here and that's the Phantom Prankster. You know, we, wanted, we were going to think about like maybe a fourth one of these, but I think that that just kind of adds to your top end and we already kind of have too much top end. So I would not play Phantom Prankster. I'd recommend getting rid of that card. This is enough top end that we have here with, you know, the Ruinous Path, Doom Beast, Spirit Leech, Never Glade Collector. So you can play one other cheaper card, either you know another Bark Beast, a Ravenous Butcher, or um, you know maybe like a Hapless Aristocrat. Um, but I don't know how much I really like Hapless Aristocrat. It doesn't really attack for very much. I kind of want like another way to another way to turn on like Bark Beast and Bakai Reaper. Um, so like another way to kill our own thing. You could also have like an Evershade Stalker for like the the real late game for you know, playing copies and just draining with Neverglade, but I don't love that as much. Maybe it's just another Glimpse Beyond. Maybe that's the card. Just play a third Glimpse Beyond. That that's that's probably it actually. Um yeah, Stalking Shadows was feeling slow because we were so fast. But I, I think you still keep it because Stalking Shadows into Doom Beast is incredible. Um so yeah maybe it's a Glimpse Beyond. I don't know. But you have you have one free slot. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I say get rid of that 03. So you have a free slot here. You can play like a Black Spear if you want. Um, if you want a removal spell, you can. I think actually, I wonder if the card is honest. Like, honestly, I wonder if the card is Sapling Toss. Sapling Toss is always underrated. It's only one spell mana, right? So super cheap. You play it on there. You know, you, you can play that. And um, it just, yeah, Sapling Toss kind of works with all these things. And it's a challenger. It can help you turn on your Bark Beast. It can help um, help you with your uh, Reaper. It just, it helps a lot. Actually, I would play a Sapling Toss. That card's really underrated. That's a cool card. Or a Stygian Onlooker. 
Onlooker with the Fearsome is a good card. Or you could go Onlooker, yeah. Maybe it's just Onlooker then. It's one of those two. Sapling Toss or Onlooker. Because you want something cheap. Um, the Onlooker is better with Stalking Shadows, how you can get like the 2 4 1 Fearsomes. It's one of those two. I would try Sapling Toss, but could go Onlooker. Either one of those. Maybe on okay, never mind. No, we're gonna we go onlooker. Let's go onlooker. And honestly, onlooker could be better than this Reaper. To be completely honest, it's po it's possible onlooker is just better than this card. Four one fearsome for one mana is awesome. And the great part about onlooker is you can just play it on turn one for a, a, a two one. You can play it here early as just a two one, but it's it's a great stalking shadows hit late also. And I think that's something that's important to find great stalking shadows hits. And that's onlooker is one of them. Okay, so there we go. Elise Azir, really impressive deck. Um, you know, forget about that first game. We won five in a row. And and we were beating, you know, like Lissandra Trundle, Swain Ezreal. Those are like control decks that are built to defeat aggro, and we just ran them over. Um, so yeah, super impressed with this deck and super impressed with Neverglade Collector finishing games out. We had the um, aggro mirror where they also had Ruinous Path and they drained us for a bunch and they had Ruin Runner that attacked for a ton, but still Neverglade Collector just drained so much. It kept us alive. And yet when we got two of them in play, it was, it was church. It was game. That was pretty awesome. All right. So there we go. There's our one change. Get an onlooker in here over that 03 and it looks nice. All right. That's it here for Elisa Zier. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Give this one a try. Give, this is a good rank up deck because it's super fast. Um, you know, super fast games and it's really powerful. We saw how, you know, one five in a row there in ranked. That's not easy to do at all. And so I was really impressed with this one. All right, but that's it here for Elisa's ear. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.